my name is Smart Mado Ajaja. Nigerians needed something novel, and we are giving it through the Nigeria Now program. Offered specially by the Nightingale radio station. We broadcast every Saturday starting at 8 p.m. Nigerian time. What do we talk about in this program? Contemporary Nigerian issues. Issues of the moment. Tragic failure of leadership. Rape. Kidnapping. Terrorism in Nigeria. And we broadcast the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. And we are not scared of anybody. We are not scared of the propaganda machine by those who want to tear our country apart. And we are not afraid of the lies by the government to continue to hold our people in captivity. Realizing that our country is sinking into a deep abyss, we decided to come up with something novel to feed our people with the truth. So join us every Saturday, starting at 8 p.m. Nigerian time. You know that time, you feel like hearing something different. After a hard day job, filled with stress, of a Nigeria that is not working. Nigerian youth, it is you, yes, you, that we are talking to. We created Nigeria now for your benefit. You better get up and stand up and take advantage of this moment. Share our message. Share the link to our station. Because at the end of the day, it is you that is at risk. You know, some of you have started forming groups once again as we approach 2023. But I want to remind you something. The plan by China and the West to co finally conquer Africa for take is now. And if you don't wake up, and if you keep collecting Okada, if you keep collecting cups of rice, if you keep collecting bills of Ankara, if you keep collecting generators, you will make it happen for China this time to occupy Nigeria. And you will cry and there won't be anybody to listen to you again. You can't blame me for not standing up to speak when it mattered most. You know what? I have been speaking to you, you youths of Nigeria, since 2012. And that is because I love you guys. Why can't you join us? Why can't you for once say, look, I'm ready to sacrifice to save my fatherland? If I can come from 10,000 miles to be speaking for you at home, why can't you at home, who is immediately impacted, wake up and join me? You know I'm not a liar. You know I'm not in this for what I want to gain for myself, but for you. What if when you are sick, you have a great hospital to go to? Or when you have children, they have very good schools to go to. 
Or when you buy a car, you have a good road to drive on. What about when you are thirsty? You are drinking water that is not fit for human consumption. You know, does it bother you? And all these anomalies happen because of the bad choices of leadership that you have made in the past, since the past 20 years. Why can't you join us to do something differently so we can get some new positive results? That is why we are involved. Please join us. I don't care where you come from. Youths from East, West, North and South. We are one people. We are Africans. God did not make us slaves for people to come and conquer us at will, take our resources, make our people migrate when they should not, even in the midst of their abundance. You know, we have the vision, but you have the power of choice. But I will not feel guilty that I did not speak to you, the youths of this generation. Come on, wake up, let us go. We can make it happen. And you know, listen. American youths are battling to save their country. I'm sure you hear what is taking place. The same way, the China they are talking about, the engine room of Chinese conquest of the world resides. They are being, it's being those engines are being propelled by the youths. So why are the youths of Nigeria static? <laughs> You all know the obstacles, the type of people you have been choosing to represent you. They corrupt you everywhere. They come to your campuses, give you money, they make you feel good when they are robbing you. And they tell you that you are the leaders of tomorrow. When are you going to lead? Break the obstacles, get them out of the way and take your country. You see people migrating. We are so angry. We who live outside Nigeria, we are so pissed off with what is taking place on the soil of Nigeria. And to see that you, the young people, aid and abate these people who are holding our people down, who are bringing darkness upon us, makes us bleed. Come on, get up. Tell me that you will work with us now starting effectively immediately and you know what the outcome will be a resounding victory and you see freedom you will feel it you will breathe it you will eat it and you will savour it why do you want to be in bondage it is you you know when you see people driven by passion you will know it when you see hypocrites you will know it you can't say that some of us are hypocrites we are out to save you and that is the reason why we did this Nigeria now. And you know what? It is spreading like wildfire. This is a call to action. For all Nigerian patriots, especially those youths who are the victims of our country's one percent and their accomplices in corporate Nigeria, I am ready. If you are ready for us to join hands and take our country back. They have no right to hold us in captivity. Think about America and what the provision they have for their youths. Think about China, how they are providing for their youths. 
think about Europe, how they come to steal from us to advance the cause of their people, especially the youths and their next generation. So we, who own the resources, they reduce us to beggars and take us of AIDS. Let us end it now. With your support, we can come together and make things happen for Nigeria. God bless you and God bless Nigeria.